No gas, no noise, no fumes, and moving towards a zero carbon footprint. Those are some lofty goals from a company whose livelihood is dependent on the marine industry. I'm Lou Lambert for Business in Motion. The company is Elko, and if it has its way, every pleasure boat under 50 feet in length would run on electric motors. And when you get the full picture of what this type of propulsion can produce, or more to the point, what it doesn't produce, it just may be the magic bullet that improves just about everything we do on the water in regards to pleasure boating. Business in Motion's Eric Billington catches up with Elko at this year's Miami Boat Show. I'm here at the Miami Boat Show, one of the largest boat shows in the world. This boat show draws over 100,000 people from over 80 different countries. They come to buy, sell, and to look. If you're a boat manufacturer or supply the marine industry with a product or service, this is where you want to be. From big to small, power boats to sailing vessels. It's about four days of eye candy for the boating enthusiasts. It's also where I caught up with Elko, the manufacturer of electronic motors for both sailing and power boating. And so there has been quite a bit of interest in the last 18 months, uh, two years, of getting an actual uh, sailboat, a uh, commercial boat, uh, lobster boats, gentlemen's trawlers, to be propelled by electric propulsion. And with Elko having such a history in the electric propulsion, uh, we've pioneered a product that we call a drop and drive. It's an AC motor. Um, it's a sealed motor, so uh, it has very high efficiency, um, about 92% efficiency. It uh, doesn't put off any heat or smoke or vibration. It's very smooth. So to the sailor who's really looking for that environment of uh, quiet, serenity, uh, the electric propulsion really fits their need. It seems impossible that a gallon of gasoline, which weighs about 6.3 pounds, could produce 20 pounds of carbon dioxide when burned. However, most of the weight doesn't come from the gasoline itself, but the oxygen in the air. With 5.5 pounds of the gallon of gas's weight being carbon, when mixed with the air, the combined weight is 20 pounds. What does this mean to the carbon footprint of the boating community? With 75 million registered boaters in the U.S. alone, and the average pleasure boater using 40 to 50 gallons of gas a day, if only 50% of the registered boaters switched to electronic propulsion, we could lessen our carbon footprint 1.5 billion pounds a day. Even if we only boated on the weekends, that would lessen the carbon footprint 78 billion pounds annually. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the cost savings by never having to purchase gas again. Electronic propulsion, is it the future of pleasure boating? We'd like to hear your thoughts on electronic propulsion at unitedforsolutions.org. Business in Motion is produced by a team of award-winning broadcast professionals who are as diverse as the companies they profile. Each week, business owners and CEOs of corporations talk about the history, challenges, growth, community involvement, and the reasons for their company's sustainability. Our cameras travel from inside the studios to business and corporate locations, giving the audience an inside look at the operations along with the new appreciation for the service and products offered. In this current economic climate, Business in Motion is a bright light that shines on positive individuals. They're successful, are providing services and products that are vital to our way of life, and who actually make a difference within our community. Business in Motion has amassed over 20 hours of footage and interviews from the 2012 Miami Boat Show to be used as the foundation for producing a one-hour special for regional broadcast and internet. A higher octane fuel at 191 octane of 1200. Or 93 octane, I'll make 13 of them. Yeah, I'm going to ask, probably like everyone would like to ask, what possessed <laughs> y'all to put five free pictures on the back of this boat other than uh, some crazy individual that wants to own it? <laughs> it's the wow factor. And we're running a fundraiser for soldiers undertaking disabled scuba. That sucks. The intent is to provide an exciting promotional tool for the progressive 2013 International Boat Show, built as the greatest boat show in the world. As you know, this show covers a lot of ground from three strategic locations, making it almost impossible to see all that is available in four days. But by highlighting the locations and what they offer, we can provide the sizzle 
that excites both past and future attendees, making for a highly anticipated experience.